back at it again, back at it again. Now look at this question. This question is interesting. It's an SAT question. And it's part of the series that I'm doing with the tough questions that can come in SAT. One of the problems with this question is the length. Look, look, they give you a whole thesis here. <laughs> and then a question here. So take some time, you can pause the video and see if you can figure out this question before I jump into it. So I'm pausing now and you're ready. There's a step and when designing a stairway, you use this formula where you relate the height and the depth. And you have this nice little formula here. The H, where H is the riser height, D is the depth, that's like the, the length of the stairs. And then you have the total rise of the step. And there's an important piece of information given here. The number of steps in a stairway is the number of risers. Um, for example, if you have five steps, you have five risers. Five risers. And the total rise of the stairways is sum of the riser heights. So the total rise is all the riser heights. So now you have this architect. And I would use this. I would use this to build the question, to build, to build the solution. An architect wants to use the riser tread formula, that's this guy over here, to design a stairway that has a total rise of nine feet one time i'm realizing i should change that to inches so everything will be in the same unit and a riser height between seven and eight inches so he wants the riser height to be between seven and eight and an odd number of steps with the architect's constraints which of the following must be the tread depth well you have a relationship with the height and the depth here so he wants this to be between seven or eight so you can maybe put seven eight we, we're trying to figure out what to put and figure out what d is so the total height of the step is 108. So let's divide by seven. I'm getting 15.4. And if I divide by a riser height of eight, I'm getting 13.5. This number here represents the number of steps. And you can't really have 15.4 steps. So is either we're going to have 15 steps or 14 steps to make this happen and we can't choose 14 because he wanted an odd number of steps for some reason so it's 15 steps so 15 steps um the, that is the number of steps must be between these guys and uh, we chose that it's going to be 15 because that one works now that we know it's 15 steps let's divide 108 by 15 lovely so the height must be 7.2 inches if the height is 7.2 inches we're very close to the answer so you know that the height must be 7.2 inches now which is a number between 7 and 8 and you saw how we got 7.2 we're just going to put in that 7.2 here this is the riser the the tread formula thing riser tread formula 2 by 7.2 is what is that 14.4 10.6 inches is the depth now remember in this question they wanted you to find the depth and that's over here i'm seeing the 7.2 there i'm seeing 15 here lots of things for you to pick the wrong answer press like on the video y'all pick that answer and let me know let me know those of y'all like like youtube says only like maybe like six percent of the people who watch the video actually watch this last little end and piece here so those of you all who reach here let me know in the chat type it up as fast as you can what in SAT do you want me to do i um kirwin springer it's on the channel name there uh, i'm from Trinidad. i just want to push SAT exams love and lessons